Have you ever wondered why ancient civilizations performed rituals that are terrifying to us today? These rituals, steeped in mystery, were not just manifestations of superstition. They were deeply intertwined with the spiritual, political, and social fabric of ancient societies. They were rites of passage, expressions of faith, and sometimes chilling displays of power. Far from being archaic practices, they shaped civilizations and left a lasting impact on human history. Let's delve into the darkness of history and unravel the top 10 most terrifying ancient rituals. In 10th place, we have the sky burials of Tibet. This chilling ritual is not for the faint-hearted, as it involves leaving the bodies of the deceased exposed to the elements, most notably to be consumed by vultures. It's a stark contrast to the burial practices we're accustomed to, but let's delve deeper. To understand the sky burial, we need to step into the world of Tibetan Buddhism. The ritual is a profound reflection of their beliefs in reincarnation and impermanence. They see the body as a temporary vessel, one that's discarded once the spirit has moved on to its next life. The vultures, often referred to as sky dancers, are seen as dakinis or angels who guide the spirit to the heavens. The consumption of the body by these birds is seen as an act of generosity and compassion, a final good deed by the departed. A chilling ritual indeed, but wait until you hear what's next. In ninth place, we find the Aztec human sacrifice. The Aztecs, an ancient civilization thriving from the 14th to the 16th century, had a unique way of appeasing their gods. They believed that the gods needed human blood to maintain the world's equilibrium. This belief led to the horrifying ritual of human sacrifice. The stark reality of these sacrifices is not for the faint of heart. The Aztecs would lead the chosen ones, often prisoners of war, to the top of their towering pyramid temples. Here, in full view of the city below, a priest would carve out the victim's heart as an offering to the gods. This gruesome act was believed to ensure the continued movement of the sun and the survival of the world. The scale of these sacrifices is staggering. It's estimated that thousands, perhaps even tens of thousands, met this grim fate each year. A blood-curdling ritual, but we're just getting started. Eighth on our countdown are the Roman gladiator battles. A chilling spectacle of death and entertainment, these battles were a cornerstone of Roman society, a testament to their fascination with the macabre. The gladiators, often slaves, prisoners, or even volunteers, were thrust into the amphitheater, forced to fight not just for their lives, but for the amusement of the crowd. It was a sport, a ritual, a blood-soaked spectacle where the roar of the crowd drowned the screams of the dying. The sight of a fallen opponent, the taste of victory and survival, these were the fleeting moments of triumph in the gladiator's brutal existence. Yet there was more to it. The battles were a ritualistic dance of death, a morbid symphony played out in the sand of the arena. They were a testament to Roman power and the fleeting nature of life, a terrifying show of violence that held the spectators in its thrall. A terrifying show of violence, but there's more to come. Seventh on our list is the Greek Pharmakos. This chilling ancient ritual involved the selection of a human scapegoat known as a Pharmakos in times of disaster or crisis. This individual, often a criminal or a slave, was chosen to bear the sins and misfortunes of the entire community. The Greeks believed that by transferring their collective guilt and troubles onto this one unfortunate soul, they could cleanse themselves and restore order. The fate of the Pharmakos was truly dreadful. Following a series of ceremonial rites, they were either driven out of the city into exile or, in some cases, killed. This ritualistic expulsion or execution was thought to protect the community from further harm by appeasing the gods. The Greek Pharmakos ritual is a stark reminder of the lengths humans have gone to in their quest for redemption and harmony. A spine-chilling ritual, but the next ones are even more harrowing. Now we move to our sixth to fourth places, the Celtic Wicker Man, the Mayan Heart Extraction, and 
the Egyptian opening of the mouth. We start with the Celtic wicker man, a chilling ritual that dates back to the Iron Age. This ceremony was a form of human sacrifice. By burning, the Celts would construct a giant effigy, the wicker man, filled with offerings to the gods, including animals, crops, and terrifyingly humans. The victims were believed to be criminals, slaves, or captives from war. The towering wicker man would then be set ablaze, the flames consuming everything within. Next, we delve into the heart of the Mayan civilization, where the ritual of heart extraction took place. This was not a metaphorical heartbreak, but a literal one. The Mayans believed that the heart was the seat of the individual's life force, and offering it to the gods was the ultimate sacrifice. During this ritual, a living victim was held down while a priest used an obsidian blade to cut open the chest and extract the still-beating heart. The heart was then presented to the gods as a token of respect and devotion. Finally, we visit the land of the pharaohs Egypt, where the opening of the mouth ceremony was performed. This was a funerary ritual, intended to reanimate the deceased for the afterlife. The ceremony involved symbolically opening the mouth and eyes of the mummy, allowing the deceased to eat, drink and speak in the afterlife. Despite its seemingly benign intent, the ritual was a complex and eerie process, involving an array of tools, chants and gestures all aimed at ensuring the dead could partake in the pleasures and necessities of life beyond the grave. These rituals are truly hair-raising, but the top three are the most terrifying of all. Finally, we have reached our top three most terrifying ancient rituals, the Viking Blood Eagle, the Hindu Sati, and the Chinese Lingchi. Let's start with the Viking Blood Eagle, a chilling spectacle of the Norse era. This was not just an execution, but a horrifically elaborate ritual. The condemned was held down and his back sliced open along the spine. Then, in a gruesome display, the ribs were severed from the spine and bent backwards to resemble wings, exposing the lungs. This grotesque tableau was believed to be an offering to Odin, the Viking god of war and death. Now, let's move on to the Hindu Sati. This practice, prevalent in ancient India, involved a widow immolating herself on her husband's funeral pyre. This act was seen as the ultimate display of wifely devotion and loyalty. However, it's worth noting that societal pressure often played a significant role, and many of these women may not have had a genuine choice. Sati was eventually outlawed in the 19th century, but it remains one of the most shocking examples of societal norms and expectations gone awry. The final ritual, Lingchi or Death by a Thousand Cuts, originated from China. This was not just an execution method, but a public spectacle designed to serve as a deterrent. The condemned would be tied to a wooden frame in a public place and then methodically sliced. The executioner would strategically cut to prolong the process and maximize the pain, leading to a slow, agonizing death. Ling Chi was practiced until the early 20th century, making it one of the more recent rituals on our list. These rituals paint a terrifying picture of the past, reminding us of the extremes societies can reach in the name of belief and tradition. And there you have it, the top 10 most terrifying ancient rituals. We've journeyed from the sky burials of Tibet, a chilling ritual where bodies were left to be consumed by nature, to the Aztecs' blood-curdling human sacrifices, a practice rooted in their belief in appeasing the gods. We've explored the brutal gladiator battles of Rome, a spectacle of blood and valor, and the Greek pharmakos, where society's outcasts were scapegoated for the greater good. We've delved into the Celtic wicker man, the Mayan heart extraction, and the Egyptian opening of the mouth, each ritual more unnerving than the last. And we've uncovered the gruesome Viking blood eagle, the tragic Hindu sati, and the chilling Chinese lingchi. Each of these rituals, though deeply unsettling to us, were integral parts of these societies, reflecting the depth of their beliefs and traditions. These ancient rituals, as horrific as they may seem, give us a glimpse into the past and the depth of human belief and tradition.